Hello everybody, here I am again. I am going to have a go one more time at these triptychs. I was contacted by a very lovely lady. Her name is Sherry Crew. You guys may know her as Sherry, but it's pronounced Sherry. And she sells A1 pigments and she asked me to give them a try. So that is what I'm doing today. I am going to show you an example of what 20 grams of Hermica powder is. That's, I believe, what she sells it um, by 20 grams, maybe larger, but so the bag's filled up to here, and this is a, a larger size bag. Prices are all comparable to all the other companies. She has some beautiful colors. I'm excited to try them out. Um, I'm going to show you hers, and then I have a few alcohol inks I mixed up to do this with. I'm going to try to see if I can somewhat replicate that uh, other triptych that had the same paper on here, the first one I did, with the stones going through the center. So this color is called Luster, Luster Purple. Very pretty purple. And then this is a fluorescent or neon pink. It's showing up red in the camera, but it's very, very pink. I don't know if you can see it on this stick. Let's see here. It's, it's neon pink. This is the neon blue. Maybe looking at it on the cup will give you a better idea of the color. And then this one is the neon violet. Very pretty. Then I have this glitter, which I absolutely love. This is the mauve glitter. It's really, really sparkly. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. So that's what I'm working with, guys. And then I have three alcohol inks. The colors I mixed up were Flamingo by Ranger. It's very transparent. This is a combination of Bria Reese alcohol ink sold at Hobby Lobby Ultramarine Blue and a little bit of Turquoise by Ranger. And then this is Amethyst, supposedly, but not really looking it to me. I might add a little bit more into that one. And that's also by Ranger. Then my gold is my normal liquid leaf gold. And then I have some white that I haven't mixed up yet, but I will shortly. So as usual, first thing to go on are the stones. So I've laid out the big ones first. I'm going to make this video as short as I possibly can. I know my videos tend to run, run long, but I like to show as much as I can. There are people learning. So I have those down, the big ones. So I'm going to take my clear and just go right up the center with it. The sides, I'm just going to let the resin pour on it, and then I will fix them after this is all cured. I'll just sand them, paint them with some acrylic ink, and then coat the entire thing, which I do have a video showing how to do the flood coat and all that. I don't show the sanding part because... A, it's very cold in Connecticut, and B, 
it's, you know, get a piece of sandpaper or even better, a power sander and sand the resin off until the surface is flat. You don't have to necessarily sand it until the resin is gone. As long as it's flat, you'll be able to paint over it and won't see any bumps. Alrighty. So now that we got that on, it's time to start adding the stones. Just going to get it up in here. Get it up into all the spots that it needs to be in. I'm going to grab my stick really quick and get as much out as I can. It's good to uh, not waste. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing my stones. I won't make you watch the whole thing. I will show you a few of them, what I'm using, and then I'll pause you to make the, the uh, video shorter. So you see the big baubles. I got those at Michael's where they sell the vase fillers. These big glass rocks. Also, Michael's, where they sell the vase fillers. I have here some dollar store. Here, I'll show you one that's not crushed. Dollar Tree. Uh, you could get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all the craft stores. I get them at Dollar Tree because they're only a dollar. The little glass vase fillers. And I throw them into boiling water, let them simmer for... 10-15 minutes. I then take them and dump them into a bucket of ice that has a little bit of water in it and I shock them. What it does is it it weakens the structure of the glass. I then take them, dry them off good, put them in a bag like this, zip it up, put it inside another bag, take it outside and hit with a hammer and they just break up. Reason why I put it in a second bag or even a third sometimes is because when you're hitting with the hammer on cement outside, the, the bag is grinding into the cement, ripping open, glass is falling out, or the glass itself is cutting the bag. So I triple bag it. You can also use a towel, lay them in between and do it that way. So I'm going to use some of those. I have some of... These vase fillers, just little tiny crystal thingies, and um, some glass glitter I will use, recollections, which I have to make a, a mention about glitter. I have found, if you like chunky glass glitter, like the Super Shard, now this one is not the Super Shard, but if you go on eBay, or to this company, they're called Meyer Imports, you can get the big chunky glass glitter or they have different sizes that you can order. And it works out to be a lot cheaper than buying it by a, a small bottle. So I'm gonna add all that stuff in and then when I come back, we will continue on with the pour. Alrighty, here we go. So I got all my stones down, my marbles, my balls, all of it. So I'm going to start again with transparent. This is the flamingo. And don't worry about if you have glitter and stuff like that. You're going to have to do a second coat on something like this. So if it's a little bumpy in areas, it's fine because it's going to get that second coat. I'm just going to squiggle it along here. Drape your cups. Don't have a cat hair hanging off of it, though. Oh, geez, Louise. Let me get rid of that really quick, guys. Sorry. Let's see, where was 
was it? There it is. Got it. Onward. All right, so now this hot pink, I'm going to put right on top of that. Or I should say around it. Bright colors there. Love bright. All right. I just cleaned my table and it's already a stinking mess. It's amazing how fast that happens. Here is the purple, um, I'm sorry, neon violet. Interesting to see what they look like when I blow them around. Doing a design like this, where you lay the color, really doesn't matter much. It's how you move it around. All right. Now I'm going to come in with that luster purple. To be careful because I'm running out of color here. I'm not paying attention to how much I'm putting on each one, and that's not good. Very pretty pigments. The only one I wish I didn't add right now, and that's my own fault, is that Flamingo Alcohol Ink. I hope I could blend that in so it's not like so orangey, coppery looking. All right here's the neon blue. Just kind of. Put a little bit here and there. Pretty. 
This is the alcohol ink blue that I had made. So you kind of want to drizzle it around in here. Ooh, the alcohol ink over the uh, purple luster is pretty color. Wow. In a few seconds here, I'm going to be separating these panels. I just keep them together like that so I could kind of come up with my design for the rocks. But once that's done, you could take them apart. And then the last color for now is that amethyst that is very blue looking. Let me add just a little bit more to it. And I'm going to add some white and then we'll blow it around and add the glitter and gold and be done. That's still a little blue to me, but... All right, here we go. All right, and for the white, don't want to add too much. If you're using stones and they go down your sides, make sure before you're done and you start letting it cure that you clean off those sides so the stones don't get stuck there, okay? All right, so white next. And I don't... Let's see. Don't want to really overpower it too much. And I just dropped a rock in there. But I always tend to add a lot. My resin's been sitting for quite a while, so that's why it's looking a little uh, stringy. And I decided to use something other than stone coat today, and I'm not going to mention the name because I'm not happy with it. Stone coat is the best to me. And that is my opinion. I will say this. I've used a lot of different resins. 
including store brands and everything from Stone Co. Art Resin, Mastercast. I haven't tried U Resin or any of those. I only get long working times out of Stone Co. and Art Resin. All right, let me blow this around quick and see what we get. So I have to remove this rock before it messes up. If you leave something like a rock right there, it'll mess up your pattern when you're moving stuff around. Very pretty. Very colorful and very pretty. And I got another rock there. Didn't even see that one. Got a couple of them, actually. All right. I like it. I like it like that. Put this little cup under here. Let me see. Let's get this stuff out of the resin. It's time for some glitter and gold. Actually, let me start with the glitter. I don't want to add too much. Kind of going with the uh, motion here. Maybe. Maybe I am.
right. Get a little tiny bit here. Don't need much. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to add a little, you know, a little line here or there, not much. At some point you can really overdo it. And then this last one here. Okay, and you know, I don't know if I even want to add this gold now. I think I'm just going to leave it. I really like that. That is going to sparkle like crazy. Okay, guys, here's the close-up. So make sure you check out Cherie at Cherie's Creative. I will link it below. She also has a YouTube channel. So that is going to be my shout out for today. Check out her channel. She's trying to uh, grow her channel and, you know, display the products that she's selling so you can see them. So I will link that below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. And, um... Uh, Any type of links that you may be need will be below. If you need uh, one to be put down there, just ask me. If I, if I don't have it, I will be glad to list one for you. So, have a great night, guys, and happy pouring.